This is Factory Fridays from Boats.com, the show where we visit builders across America to get a first-hand look at their boat building techniques, materials, and stories. In this episode, we're visiting the iconic American boat builder, Cigarette Racing Team, at their boat building factory in Opelika, Florida, a name synonymous with high performance, go fast offshore power boats. The brand began in 1969 when legendary speedboat racer and businessman Don Aronow built the first cigarette boat. The company's history is intertwined with Miami's famous Thunderboat Row also known as the birthplace of high-performance boating. Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Boats.com, and we're welcoming you here to Factory Fridays in Opelika, Florida. This is a mecca for many boat builders, but we're here at Cigarette Racing Team, one of the most iconic names in the boat building business in the world. Cigarette moved here from the notorious Thunderboat Row in the early 2000s. This was the previous Mako fishboat factory, but it was totally gutted and renovated to become one of the coolest boat factories we're gonna see. So we're gonna get together with Carlos Ruga and he's gonna take us for a walk around the shop. So come on and let's show you the inside story at Cigarette Racing Team. Carlos. Hello. How are Good you? to see you. Great seeing you. So this is where all the magic happens. This is, this where, is where it starts. Where people come and they choose all their finishes for the boats. Yes. Yes. So this is basically this is the design center. So this is where the beginning process of the boat build for the client and buyer to come in, get their own designs, get their color charts, their leathers, their interior, their stitching, everything to the T. It's all custom to the buyer. So um, it makes it exciting for them as well. And you know, they feel more a part of it more than ever when they come through here. So we, we really encourage this process and thoroughly go through it, so. And there's so much to choose from, from your steering wheels, your upholstery, the embroidery I know is very complex. Yes. But your, your speaker finishes, your uh, carbon fiber details, and there's so many things. Do people get overwhelmed? Definitely, people definitely get overwhelmed, but we try to make them feel very comfortable and guide them to where we feel that is the best fit for them based off what they tell us. So that's a very important process as well because it is the longest process of the build which is designing their boat because people want to design it to their liking and how they want it. So it is a long process, but we make sure to guide them in the direction that they feel comfortable with. So then, you know, they're very happy with the result. So walk us through this center and how it works. Absolutely. Um, basically, the first step is basically going through what colors do you like? Do you like primary? What's your primary color do you think you would want to use on your boat? Then comes secondary color and then will come um, what material do you want to use for your upholstery, which a lot of people use the cool touch fabric, which is the most common bought um, upholstery for their boat, which is um, it doesn't get hot. So um, it gets warm, but it gets hot. It doesn't get hot enough that you burn yourself. So people are very comfortable coming out of the water, you know? So um, then it goes all the way down to the stitching of the boat to uh, what type of style stitching do you want to do? So again, it's all a part of the process and how we go through it to make them feel comfortable and deciding exactly what they think that is worthy for, for themselves. There's so many details that go into this beyond the engine selection exactly. as well. Absolutely. So it depends on the engines they want. They can choose from a variety of uh, power on their boats. Um, we have a great relationship with Mercury, so uh, we'll be able to provide them, provide them with whatever engines they want on their boats. So. And then you can walk them through here on the computer all of the different... Yeah. Here on our slides, we show a lot of like our collaborations with AMG that we do year, year after year. Um, and they can see the different design works that have been done with the boats. So um, they get, so when they come through here, they definitely get their ideas running for sure, just by looking at this section here. You know, so um, it's very, it's very fascinating process. So and you can bring the whole family in here to help you plan. With Absolutely, this we'll we'll setup. sit here in the conference room here, and we'll go over it. We'll show them the options that they, we have to offer. You know, what we think is the best route that they should take. You know, and a lot of the times they take our suggestions very well. You know, so they were like, I want to do exactly what you said because obviously we have a good idea since we do it day in and day out for our clients. So definitely. 
Well, let's go and see where the boats start being built. Absolutely, absolutely. So right this way, we'll go down this way. Here we are at parts. Yes, so now we made it to the parts department. This is where we'll place um, all the parts for every boat build on the production order. Um, we'll, depending on the hull number on the boat, we'll separate each part for each boat in a certain container so they know where to put it for assembly on each boat build. So um, that's basically what happens here. Where we could order anything to engines, to props, to covers on boats, to anything you can think of we'll order here for the clients. So. Well, one of my favorite next stops is embroidery. Can yeah. we go there next? Absolutely, let's go. Right. So we are in the embroidery room. Um, it's sealed off here because we like to keep this area very cool because we have the machines here running at all times. So we want to make sure they're running as efficiently as possible. Um, so this is basically where we'll do the embroidery for our cigarette logos on all of our fabrics and our cool touch materials for the upholstery. Um, so here are the machines and this is where the magic happens here with the embroidery. Um, obviously for the smaller parts will be done on this side. So, And from what I understand you can replicate any logo, any graphic and yes. make that happen. Absolutely. In the, in the so poster. depending on the, um, the design of the boat as well, so depending on the logo, we can change the number one to whatever color depending on the color scheme on the outside. So it could be changed, it can be modified to whatever color as well. We have all the fabrics, all the colors to be able to embroider the cigarette logo to the style of the boat, so. And this operates 24 seven. Yes, right? oh, at all times. That's why we try to keep this insulated so you know it keeps its coolness in here and they can be running as efficiently as possible. All right, what's next? Oh, well, we're gonna go to the upholstery section next. So right. show you that now. Okay, so now we just got to the upholstery area of cigarettes. So this is basically the staging area for all the upholstery that has been completed from the assembly process of upholstery. So this basically will be for an Aurorus. So we'll stage them out here. So this will be the last part of the assembly process of the boat. So then it's all completed and just implemented throughout the boat. So it's basically the last process of the boat here. So you can see the finished work on here. So well, let's go see how those are made. Absolutely, let's do it. Okay guys, so we just got to where the upholstery magic happens. So based off of the design process of the boat, of the interior of the boat, this is where you could see that whole process come to life. So, so. the pieces are really like sculpted, aren't they? Yes. The foam is Yes, cut. everything's already sculpted. The layout is already sculpted for each boat. So just the only thing that is different is the style and how they want to do it based off the client's needs. You know, like how the scheme is and stuff like that. So um, here will basically be done all the side hatches, all the helm seating area, the back sofa area um, will be done here. And it's, we definitely do a good job on all of our finished work here. So. And then the, all the sewing is done in the back room. Yes, there. so Anna Marissa has been working here for 35 years. She's been sewing here for ever and she's amazing at what she does. And she really comes out, everything is flawless work. Um, lines are perfect. I mean, it's quite a sight to see, honestly. You really notice it on every boat that is in assembly area. And everything is done here in-house, so you're under control the whole Absolutely. time. Absolutely, making sure if they have any questions, they make sure to call me to make sure that the, this is exactly what the client wants. You know? So everything is particular, you know, depending on everything else, so. And I can't help but look around at all the pieces of history that are here from yes. racing days and advertisements. You've really captured the real feeling no, of cigarettes. No, we, we here. definitely never want to lose the history of cigarettes, so we definitely like to promote that on our walls, you know. So every so we make sure everyone doesn't forget it, you know. So and it's quite a sight to see, honestly. Well, let's go see what's on the other side. Absolutely. Well, carpentry certainly has changed, Absolutely, hasn't it? Yes. It's all composites here now. Yes. So here we have our CNC machine. This is where we will cut all of our side panels, our, our cup holders, or any piece that needs to be cut up will be cut up here with our CNC machine. We also gather all of our vinyls, our, our cool touch materials will be gathered here as well, our foams here. This is where we'll store all of that here, so. And I can tell we're getting close to lamination. You can smell so. the resin, no? 
That's next. Yes. All right, guys. So we're here where it all begins. This is where we have all of our molds for all of our model boats here. So we have our 515, our 42, Aurora Center Console, our 41, our G39 GTS, and a lot of our spo uh, sports boats as well. Um, I see the mold in the back. That's a big one. Yeah, it's a lot bigger in person than it is on the water for sure. So um, you could definitely get the dimension of it, it, how big it is. That's the 515? The 515 is back there. We'll, we could walk through it and show you around. And all of this is still being hand rolled. Yes. Sprayed. It's still being hand rolled. We definitely show a lot of love into our products. So um, you can see them applying the fiberglass with the resin to secure everything down. Um, so it, that's part of the process. So you've got the decks over there getting ready. Anything that's coming together, right? Ready to right. So match so the when this dries up, this will probably take 10 to 12 days to dry up to get it out of the mold. So then you have that full deck call bottom. Um, so we'll get out of the mold and then we'll start applying it together. So all of the hulls and the decks are done here yes. and then smaller parts? Smaller parts are over there. We'll walk over there now and then after that we'll be finished. So we'll go through that whole process. Okay. So let's do it. There are a lot of pieces that go into making one of these yes, boats. Yes, yes. Uh, there's a lot of pieces. This is the small parts. This is where it's done. It's the same process. They apply the uh, fiberglass and then apply the resin and sand it down so they smooth it off. But this is where all the hatches are done that will be implemented onto the actual hull build of that boat from out there. So it'll be implemented into one piece after. And then where do we go from here? After here, we'll go to finish and we'll show the process after the process of the, the, the molding is completed. So we'll go over there now. All right. So this is where the perfection gets taken care of. Yes, so this is the finish area. So after the mold process, the boat will come here and get fine-tuned, clean off the edges, get prepped for paint process. So basically all the color schemes that are done with the boat will come to life after the fact. So make sure the edges are smoothed off, making sure that everything is put together properly. This is where it'll be done. You can see the, the sheen of the boat and the smooth finish done yes. the whole way. And that's a, what, a 40? So we have something. a 42 Huntress on the left side here, and then we have a 41 Nighthawk on the right side. Um, which is getting ready, basically it's almost ready for paint processing, so um, that's the process getting through right now. So, Let's go see paint next. Let's do it. All right. Wow. You can really see how perfect the finish is. Yes, yeah, so this will be the process after the paint booth, after it's been painted, they will come here, they would um, they would gloss it up, make it shiny, you know, make it presentable. We'll add a couple final touches. If there's any like scratches too, they'll be able to refurbish it and fix it up, you know. So this is really that department, keeping everything smoothed off. And so next there's something new coming next door. Right? Absolutely, that's very interesting. I would love to show you guys. Let's go see. Ah, so this is where we're all going to get on board with yes. cigarettes. Yes, so this is new department for cigarette, which is exciting and we're all very excited for it. So um, this is going to be our new Mercury dealership and refits and refurbishing uh, side of the business. Um, Mindy Dollar is going to be the one handling that section of the company. So um, it will be great, you know, to see where this can go. And so any cigarette um, um, buyer that has an older cigarette or newer cigarette could come here, get stuff done on their boat to upholstery refit or new engines on their boats, you know, the, you name it, we can get it done here. And Mindy's gone from Dollar Marine to being a cigarette dealer and yes. selling John Ruiz all of his boats, and now she's going to be in-house running your service department. Yes, there's definitely no, no better person to be running this side of the business, you know, she understands it very well and uh, we're excited to see where it goes. Excellent. Tell me about that boat over there. Oh, let's go check it out. I'd love to talk about it. All right, guys, so here we have a 1994 Cafe Racer. It's a 35 feet Cafe Racer. Um, 
We got it um, for an Art Basel show that we did, which was amazing. We had Alec Monopoly paint it live at the show, which was awesome turnout. It was amazing, a great experience. Um, but what's cool about this boat is that it's in its original hall bottom. Um, it had its original engines on there, it had the Hawk engines in there. So um, what we're doing now is refitting the whole boat. We're trying to get new interior, new upholstery in there, get new engines. We got XR drives, Mercury's 525s coming. So we'll be able to refit this boat completely and get it ready for uh, another show. So it's a piece of history yes. that's being totally refurbished and now it's a work of art. Yes. And this is going to be sold? Yes, okay. so the plan is to all to sell it either as an art piece or as a running boat, maybe even both. Um, you could really use your imagination with it, but it's definitely very unique. It's a unique boat. Um, so it's not for everyone, but definitely someone will come in and say, wow, you know, this is definitely something I would want. So what else is there for us to see at Cigarette that so, ties it all together? So we'll tie it all up together with the assembly process over there, which is the last process before delivery of the boat to the buyer. So you'll see the rigging process and the assembly of, of the boats on the other side. So that'll be the last process. Let's go. Let's do it. So even though it's lunchtime and it's kind of quiet back here, you can really see the transformation that happens from a bare hull like that where electrical yep. and rigging and lighting and yep. engines are being put on to where it comes to an almost finished state. Yes, yeah, so basically this will be the assembly and rigging area. So um, this is where all the wiring will be done for the boats and to be connected properly, you know, and then you can also see here all the engines will be put in together, you know, rigged properly with our riggers. We have great people here that know what they're doing and they're very professional at what they do and um, they do a great job here. We definitely do a great job with our rigging process. About how long does it take to fully rig a boat? say a couple weeks, a week and a half, I would say, give or take, depending on how many engines are being rigged up as well. So um, it just depends on each boat. Um, but I would love to show you guys a completed uh, boat, you know, so you can see the full, the full boat in its full form. So we'd love to walk over with you guys and show you. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Well, this is beautiful. You can really see all the details come together here, can't yes. you? Yes, so basically this is the last um, portion of the build process. This is when you basically see the full boat come together and it's ready for shipment straight to the to, client. To some happy owner. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you so much, Carlos, for giving us the great tour here. We really got to see the history of Cigarette as well as its present now and its next generation. Yes, absolutely. We have a lot of great new ideas coming for this year. So we're excited to show all of our fans, our loyalists about our new ideas and projects. And um, to the new year, you know, to the new year for cigarette and let, you know, it's a new age for cigarettes. So let's keep the, the pace going. Well, thank you for joining us here at Cigarette Racing Team on Boats.com's Factory Fridays. This is Factory Fridays from Boats.com. Follow Boats.com on YouTube and Instagram to stay tuned for the next episode. Visit Boats.com for more videos and boat-related content. Boats.com. Everything Boats.